Hello friends, welcome to another episode of uh, Time for Linux News. Yesterday we had the release of AMD software, uh, Radeon Software Crimson uh, Edition 15.11 for uh, a proprietary graphics uh, driver for uh, Linux. And uh, let's uh, take a brief look at the release notes for this new version. On the uh, Linux distribution supported, we have uh, Red Hat Enterprise Linux, Ubuntu 12.04, 14.04, 15.04 and 15.10 support, OpenSUSE 11 and 12, SUSE, excuse me, SUSE Linux 11 and 12 and OpenSUSE 13.1. Distribution specific packages available for uh, for uh, Red Hat, we had we have the uh, RPM packages, and for Ubuntu 12.04 and 14.04, there are the uh, deb packages available for uh, download and installed. On the system requirements side, Xorg uh, it's not uh, supporting yet uh, the Xorg 1.18. It's it's uh, still uh, at uh, one seventeen. Uh, Linux kernel up to three point nineteen, but we have a confirmation from Fronix that uh, the driver can build successfully on uh, kernels up to uh, four point uh, one at least. And under uh, resolved issues, stuttering when the running. Uh, GLX uh, gears with VSync enabled and the uh, intermittent mouse cursor corruption. So not a whole lot of uh, improvements and uh, enhancements and features for uh, this uh, new proprietary graphic drivers from AMD. Let's uh, talk more about um, these graphic drivers on uh, the uh, Pharonix uh, articles. First of all, Radeon uh, Crimson Controls uh, Center uh, looks just like the old uh, AMD Catalyst Control Center on uh, Linux. Apparently just the uh, Crimson Edition for Windows got the new uh, revamped uh, control panel that is based on uh, Qt. So the Linux version has the old uh, control center. They just uh, removed any uh, naming for uh, Catalyst and replaced it with uh, Radeon. Also, like I've told you, the uh, AMD Crimson for Linux uh, supports uh, for that uh, kernels, at least uh, for that one, which this uh, website uh, uh, build the software. However, no words for uh, uh, support for uh, the latest for that three kernel. It also looks like these uh, graphic drivers drops the support for pre GCN GPUs. So if you're running a Radeon HD 5000 or 6000 series, uh, this new driver it's not uh, has no support for these old uh, graphic drivers, graphic uh, cards. You are stuck with the 15.9 driver. And the conclusion of the Pharonix uh, website is that uh, AMD Software Crimson Edition it's a uh, letdown on uh, Linux because you don't get the uh, revamped uh, UI, you don't get uh, newer kernel support, you don't get uh, the support for Xorg 1.18 and on the performance side it look like, looks like uh, these uh, new graphic drivers doesn't bring 
major uh, performance improvements over the last uh, Catalyst uh, 15.9. So, as I recommended you in my uh, last videos, my past videos, um, if you have uh, AMD uh, graphics, just uh, stick with uh, the open source uh, drivers because uh, they are more stable. You should use the uh, proprietary graphic drivers only if you want to play um, high-end uh, games from Steam that uh, require uh, lots of OpenGL uh, extensions that the open source uh, driver doesn't uh, have yet. So that was the news for uh, Radeon Software Crim Crimson Edition. Next, we had also the release of RC2 of uh, kernel 4.4. Uh, uh, Mesa 11.06 has Intel Radeon NVO uh, fixes. And also Mesa 11.1 .1 gets its uh, first uh, release candidate. The open source AMD GPU Linux driver uh, got released under version 1.0.0 and supports the Fiji, Carrizo, Tonga, Stony and Iceland uh, GPU families. NVIDIA updates the, their Linux drivers for all the GeForce 6, 7 and 6, 7, 8 and uh, 9 uh, series. For uh, this new ver uh, driver brings uh, OpenGL uh, fixes and support for Xorg 1.18. For uh, uh, GeForce 6 and 7 series, the driver, the latest driver is uh, 304.131, while for GeForce 8 and 9 series, the latest driver is 340.96. Next, we had uh, the first uh, beta for Plasma 5.5 release that has lots and lots of uh, features and uh, uh, bug fixes. Ubuntu 16.04 looks like it will be powered by the uh, next uh, LTS kernel uh, for that 4. And finally, Manjaro got its uh, seventh update for uh, Manjaro 1509 that um, brings lots of uh, updated updated packages for uh, KDE, Cinnamon 2.8, Octopi, uh, Gnome 3.18 and uh, Mesa 11.06. So uh, that's it for uh, today's episode of uh, Time for Linux News. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching, see you next time.